guys, welcome back to part four of our Disneyland Paris vlog series. Welcome back. We're here with Ruby, and it's actually only me and Ruby today. The reason being is we've ditched the rest of the family. I'm not joking, every toilet stop, Martin won the toilet every time, wasn't he? He was awful. Yeah, it was every time. <laughs> every toilet, what's he like? <laughs> Honestly, we've, we've only seen 10% of the park because of the M3. Yeah. Nah, I'm only joking, honestly. The, basically, they don't have a ticket to get in, but because I'm a, a gold pass holder, I get to bring 10 people in, or 10, I get 10 tickets basically a year at a reduced rate. So if you want to become an annual pass holder, check that out because you get reduced tickets. Anyway, so Ruby's my guest today, and the plan is today is we're going to try and get on as many rides as we possibly can within five hours. How many will we get done? Let me know in the comments, and let's go. And that's us through security. Security quick, right, I'm already noticing, me and Ruby have just said this, park is a lot quieter today, much quieter, and bless, <laughs> there was a, a lady and a son up ahead, and it just makes me really excited. When I see that, I know it sounds really crazy, but literally, when I see families like that, it makes me excited for me and Con having our own family. If you're wondering what you mean by that, you need to go back into some videos, because I told you all about it, earlier on in the series. Actually, not this series, actually. Ages ago, actually, in, in other vlogs. <sighs> Makes us excited, honestly. The weather today, it's a little bit more cloudier, but it's all right, it's not too bad. But even just here, yesterday, there was hundreds of people here. Now, it's quiet, it's so quiet. So on a serious note, obviously, I've already said in the last vlog, traveling with five people, it's harder. You don't get as much done because you've got five people for toilets, five people for this, five people that, five people want fed, five people want to do stuff. So it's going to be really interesting today if how much me and Ruby get done in such a short space of time. Five hours. That's all we've got, five hours. So it's going to be really interesting of how much we see of these studios and how much we see of the main park. So guys, we are now in the park. Um, so easy honestly we obviously because we've got the annual pass it's pretty much there was a bit of a queue we got walked through to the front and when i say a bit of a queue there's like four or five people in front we got literally pushed straight at the front which was awesome <laughs> obviously we didn't ask for it they just pushed us straight at the front and then we got the um privilege pass so it was dead quick dead easy and then we got literally told oh this is the way you and um, we were literally pretty much straight into the park we're just laughing because you know how i said before about my uncle needing the toilet, Martin needing the toilet all the time. It's not, it's me. We literally got into the park and the first set of toilets we passed, I was like, I need the toilet. <laughs> it's me. I drink so much water. And Ruby's at the toilet currently at the moment. Um, and then we're going to head on Tower of Terror just over there. But I'll just wait for Ruby to come out. And uh, yeah, the plan is, so literally the plan is today is we're just going to try and do as many rides as we can. Tower of Terror first. Then we're going to head to Ratatouille. And then from Ratatouille, we're then going to head to the next park and smash as many rides as we can. Do a bit of shopping. Obviously, we can't, can't come to Disney without some shopping. And, uh, and yeah, let's try and get as much done as we can. Right, Ruby's back. Toilet done. And 20 minutes for Hollywood Tower of Terror. Park is so quiet today. So quiet. And we just met some viewers as well. We met two viewers before. Apologies, I didn't grasp your names. If you met me in the park, just say, obviously comment on the video. I honestly love meeting you guys. It's always awesome to meet, you know, fellow YouTubers and, and fellow viewers. And look at that. It's dead. It's walk on. It's literally walk on. Let's get ourselves in. I love a good walk on attraction. Always nice. Hello, are you okay? Yes, always make sure you sanitize your hands. It's always extremely important. Well done, Ruby, for that. Oh, bit of zigzags. Bit of a queue, not too bad. It's, a, it's literally, yeah, it's halfway. This is about 20 minutes. I can definitely guess that. Yeah, and just a quick one as well, guys. It is travel home day to day, if I haven't said this already. We travel home at, well, our flight's at 9.35 tonight. So we're staying at the park until five and then we're going to be traveling home which is all right to be honest i don't mind i don't mind traveling home at that time at least we've got you know a full day in the parks right so we're doing this one here which is the second elevator from here so it's the second one and this gentleman right here has just said this is the scariest now we did that one the first day and we did that one yesterday so if you are coming on this you want to ask for the middle one 
I can't believe, right, yes. so we've been waiting for 10 minutes and we're going on this already. 10 minutes, it's, it's perfect. Yeah, I just can't believe, like, it's literally been 10 minutes to get to here. It's awesome. I'm gonna have to cut filming in a sec because they don't like cameras on this ride, so we'll cut filming and I'll see you after the ride. <laughs> OMG, we have just got off Tower of Terror. And <laughs> you know when I said the second one, the guy said it was brutal. Ruby, how brutal was it? Oh, yeah, it was. It was, cool. it was brutal. Like I am not joking. We dropped. We went up. We went down. There was like a scary man yeah. screaming from above. If you've done the second one, he was laughing as well. I know. Yeah, yeah. He was laughing. If you've done the second one, let me know in the comments. Oh, it was so good. Typical that like, we would do the scariest one when everyone else is not here. Yeah, but, but it was so good. Right, we're heading to Ratatouille now. We've got four hours left and we're heading to Ratatouille. That was walk on, which was awesome. This is going to be the new section, which is meant to be opening in less than six months, which is so exciting. But yes, Ratatouille now. Ruby, one of Ruby's favorite rides. I love it, to be honest. I can't wait to try it in Florida, actually. Look at the difference, man, from this. If you remember the other day, we were queuing all the way up to here. Now, this is gone. And let's see. It, it's Yeah, it's walk on. Walk We're going to get so many rides done today. So many, right, let's see. So, oh my God, it is walk on, Ruby. There's no one here. That is, oh, this is awesome. I'm going to get emotional. Things. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get. Oh my god, it actually is walk on. Look at that. Aww. I'm gonna get emotional. The music to this movie is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It's currently saying a five minute wait time. You can't fault that if only five minutes. Have you seen this movie? Yeah, loads. Yeah, I want to watch it. it when I get home. This might even be the movie I watch tonight, actually. I might watch a movie tonight when I get home. Might watch a movie with Con and stuff. Yeah, well, Con will be asleep when I get home because it's going to be late. Yeah, it's going to be like one. Yeah, yeah, it'll be one o'clock in the morning before I'm home. Oh, I love this bit. Oh, I want to watch the movie tonight. Oh, it's three stars as well. Three stars, I know. Just the music in here just gets me every time. It's maybe creeping up in one of my favourite rides. Like, it's getting higher and higher up the spectrum because just the theming in here is just awesome. And then the ride itself. It's amazing. Again, this is walk on, pretty much walk on. I must say, it's, I think it's a bit longer than the five minutes advertised, but still, I've said to Ruby, we're gonna have like three and a half hours in the main park of just exploring and getting on as many rides as we want because we're gonna be out here. We're not gonna do Gushroom because it's like 50 minutes, but we're literally gonna get this done and then we're gonna be able to go to the main park and explore there for three hours. Obviously, we're planning on eating at the Pirates. Hopefully, they'll have reservations available. If they don't have reservations, we'll eat somewhere else. But, uh, this is awesome. They've just they're literally playing the song from Titanic, you know, when the ship's sailing off. Really get you going. Goodbye, Disney Studios. That's us finished with Disney Studios. Oh, listen to the music. Really get you going. Goosebumps. Oh, God. Getting emotional. Ooh. That's us finished with Disney Studios. I know it's, it's sad, it. isn't it? It's sad. It's perfect music for us to go, man. What it is for me. I know, yeah. I'm literally out. I'm playing the perfect music here. It's literally got us going. The thing is, right. It's why, oh, I love this song, it's from Dinosaur. What it is for me, I don't know if you can even still hear it in the background, literally, what it is for me is, we've just had the best weekend, and like, for me, I'm thinking, well, obviously I know I'll be back in a couple of weeks, but when will I experience it with the family again? Because for my uncle, you know, this is like a huge trip, huge, like they've no chance of Florida, but they can get here, but even this, for four, it's a single parent, it's expensive, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. Hopefully if I win the lottery, I'll bring them all out here. Oh my God, the difference in music. That was like sad because we were leaving. And now this is like hippity hoppity hip, isn't it? Hear this? God, it's like, it's, it could be, I know, yeah, it's like so different. It's like, yeah, we're going to Disney. Woo! Now this has been a change in mood. Oh, come on then, let's get in. Here we are, we're back. Back in the main park. Now we've literally got basically three and a half hours in here. Actually, is it three and a half hours? Let's check. Let's have a look. Three hours 30, we've got three hours 30 minutes to explore this as much as we can. It's gonna be awesome, isn't it? 
Yeah, we're excited to go on um, Space Mountain. Space Mountain, yeah. We're going to get on Space Mountain. We're going to do... We're going to try and oh, do everything. Daisy! Da oh, Daisy's here. Oh. Main Street always brings that like most magical sense of yeah like like you're here you've made it just the view isn't it it's just literally the view from from here it's just awesome you know oh that what that's new was that there yesterday that box i didn't notice that yesterday did you that seems different that, that. I can't, guys let me know in the comments can you remember that from yesterday i can't remember that we're going to try and avoid the shops because we don't have long but I do want to go shopping <laughs> I need to avoid the shops oh actually you know where we need to go first Pirates to the Caribbean to book a reservation castle's stunning it really is just said Ruby like she has to come back to see the castle when it's when it's back to like normality right we're going to go to uh, Pirates take you through Adventureland I don't know if I've showed much of Adventureland you know because Adventureland's one of them um, one of them. <laughs> Are you okay? Right, I need all of you crossing all your fingers and toes for can we get a reservation for this today? Please, can we get a reservation? Have everything crossed. Absolutely everything, because I'll cry if I can't get in my favourite restaurant before I leave. Guys, I've got my reservation and they're asking us to take pictures of the menu because I think they're they don't have uh, menus in sight, but we've got a reservation, really excited. It's so cool, I love this restaurant. Um, oh, you're 11 as well, so that's ideal, so you get the kids' menu. Oh, sorted, let's go. I'm so happy that we're in here, and you're gonna experience it. I just hope they have two seats by the water. If you're interested in seeing this, um, what it was like with Stevie as well, obviously watch this one, but I did also experience this meal with Stevie, um, and I'll put the link below if you're interested in watching that as well, when I tried this with Stevie for the first time um, me and Stevie loved it it was like one of them places we were surprised we were hungry we booked it and we loved it and the, the cast is awesome in here food is amazing just want to quickly address something as well just really quickly um, yesterday obviously by the time you see this this was like five weeks ago so by the time you see this like this is like you just won't be interested however someone messaged me um, Oh, actually, no, it was a comment, sorry, but it's now been deleted. I don't know why they deleted it. But basically, someone commented saying, why are you not wearing a mask um, on a couple of photos that I've put on Instagram? Now, every single photo... Now, obviously, I totally understand Disney's policy. You know, Disney's got a policy that they abide by. However, all the photos you've seen where my family and myself haven't got a mask on, apart from, obviously, when the kids are walking around the park and they're doing that and that, Apart, all the photos you've seen have all been pre-approved by a cast member. So, for example, there's a photo where it's dark and the, there's a view behind us. That's the photo that sparked a bit of controversy. The cast member actually told us to take our masks off and then offered to take a picture, um, which then we said no because I'm dead conscious of having people taking pictures of me because of my overweightness. <laughs> Um, it's just a habit I have and it's, uh, you know, I don't mind selfies, I prefer them. But anyway, cast member offered to take the photos and there was another photo at another point. Like, you know, I buy by the rules. Like, obviously sometimes my mask might fall and stuff like that. But, you know, I buy by the rules. So please don't think that, like, you know, because I do YouTube, I feel like, oh, I don't have to wear a mask. That honestly isn't the case. And that's what someone had put down. And it kind of upset us because I was thinking, like, you know, I'm, I'm seeing people walking around this park with no masks on. Going to our table now, guys. Everyone, pray, pray for a water view. Pray for a water view. Pray. Oh, no, all the water view ones are gone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where are we going? Oh, this one looks good. This one looks good. No. Oh, no. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's brilliant because there's the water. Brilliant. Go on, you go that side. We're here. And there's the water. Oh, this is awesome. Thank you. Ruby's loving it in here. And it's when you like look out there and you see like the rides coming. You probably can't see because it's so dark. But basically that's the Pirates of the Caribbean ride and it goes through there. This is like the start of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. And it's just the theming. It's just out of this world. Honestly, I, it really it really makes us think about eating on site more often. The pricing in here is a lot more expensive than what it is off site or even quick service. But the theming everything about this awesome also do you like my new lanyard you'll see it in a future haul 
I bought it yesterday. I love it. It's Lion King, one of my favourite Disney movies. Can you tell I'm living life? Just loving it. Ooh, drinks have arrived, guys. Look at this. So I've got like a a nice slushy thing, which I get free actually with my um, with my annual pass. It comes free. And Ruby has got a Fanta. She's very excited. I'm just chatting, really. Just chatting, taking everything in. Ooh, I've got some bread. Ooh, lovely. Ooh, ooh, lovely. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. Oh, this is nice. Oh, thank you. Starters have arrived, and look, Ruby's got this vegetarian dish, and it's a Mickey. It looks awesome. We need Instagram photos of that. That can't be touched until we've got Instagram photos. And then I've got the chicken, which is gorgeous. I got this last time, and then I'm, I've just been eating the bread, and the bread's coconut bread now. I know some of you is probably like, ugh, coconut. I'm a huge coconut fan, so this is like right up my street. I'm gonna be honest, this salad is a starter. It's awesome. So much chicken in there, so many noodles. It's awesome, honestly. It tastes out of this world. This, honestly, I know you're probably laughing when I say this is my favorite restaurant. It honestly is. I'm not joking. This is one of my favorite restaurants. I love everything about it. Oh, successfully. Oh, let's just lick me lips. <laughs> Meal consumed. It was god awesome. 20 minutes. Me and Ruby are just like looking at the clock and we're like, ooh, is that the time? I just said to her, I said, um, our dad's gonna be, it's gonna kill us because <laughs> he said, make sure you're back for six. Obviously, because that's when more. Oh, hi, you okay? Yeah, yeah, all finished. It was lovely. It was honestly awesome. Thank you. That's when our more taxi driver, I'm, I'll tell you more about more later on. That's when more taxi driver picks us up. And oh my god, I'm looking. You are, yeah, his name's Mohammed, yeah. But he's, we call him Mo, he, he, that's why he prefers to be called Mo. And um, we've got to be back for six. And I would say to Ruby, right, if we want to do four rides, we're going to have to run around these rides because it's quarter past three and we need to be back at the hotel by six. So our plan is Pirates, then Big Thunder Mountain, Phantom Manor, and then Hyperspace Mountain. All within about an hour and a half. Can we do it, guys? Can we do it? Let's hope. And then, worst case scenario, we'll just miss the flight. <laughs> and, guys, mains have come. Look at this. Uh, what I love about this, right, is obviously this in itself is awesome. This is like a curry. Um, I've got prawns, chicken, coconut, everything in there, everything for a pirate's life. But then also, your rice comes in a coconut. How awesome. That's a coconut we're ricing. Awesome. If you want to hear some pointless information as well, that is where that is where me and Stevie sat the first time we ate here. Um, just that table there. Nice. I've got the rice pudding. It looks awesome. It's like beans. And Ruby has got. <laughs> what did you say? It looks like beans. It's not, man. It's awesome. Look, it looks like beans. Oh, that picture doesn't look very appealing at all. No, no, no. It looks nothing like that in real life. And Ruby's got the ice cream, which looks awesome. Looks really nice. Is it nice? Is it good? Let me try the rice pudding, I'll, I'll give you a go. This rice pudding is like meant to be cold, but Ruby's gonna get more. Oh, it does look a bit like beanie, actually. Looking at it, actually. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. That's successful meal complete. Oh, right. We're at Big Thunder Mountain now. I can see the mountain, so that's a good sign. Let's just hope, Ruby, the, uh, the queue time's not flew up. That right there is the gift shop I've seen. The awesome oh, stuff in as well. Stuff, so I should be able to get yeah, so you should be. Oh, isn't that what you want for? Yeah, that's Eddie. Dad, let's leave it to the end. <laughs> yeah, let's leave it to the end. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Get me out the gift shop. <laughs> well, gonna... It's bad sign me being in that gift shop, I'm telling you. Oh, keep me out. Keep me out. <laughs> and Big Thunder Mountain is still on 15 minutes, which is unbelievable. Oh, I have never seen. Big Thunder Mountain on 15 minutes before, ever. So this is a good sign. Honestly, this is a perfect day, Ruby, for, for a Disney day, isn't it? Do you know, the more I think about this, the more I think coming to Disney midweek just makes so much more sense. Like, we came at the weekend and it was so busy. We're here now and it's walk-on for nearly every ride. Every ride's pretty much walk-on. Like, why would you come at the weekend? I don't know, like, is it like this all the time? Let me know in the comments, like, if you come often. Is it like this all the time? Because this is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. I feel bad for the family, because they've, like, they experienced Disney when the queues were, like, 50, 55 minutes. Like, 
This is a five minute queue time for Big Thunder Mountain. That's five minutes. Oh well guys, that's a stinker. <laughs> and my uncle just rang us and said the taxi driver wants to pick us up. Are uh, you okay to... Two. Number four. Number four, that's awesome, thank you. Taxi driver's just rang my uncle and said he wants to pick us up half an hour earlier. So me and Ruby are like, oh, well that's a bit of a nightmare. We were planning on doing all these awesome rides while they're all in five minutes. Oh, well, it's not the last time we'll be here, it's a shame, but you know, it's one of them things, isn't it? It's like, oh, I'm good. We want to do Hyperspace Mountain. What else did we want to do? We want to do Phantom, Phantom Manor. Manor. We might get on Phantom Manor, you know. Because it's right here, maybe. What do you guys think? I don't know. I'm gutted. I know, it sounds ridiculous. I'm sounding like a big kid on her. Stamping my feet. No, like, honestly, I am really good. <laughs> I know, I know, I am. Oh, I am. Because it's not very often where the rides are like this. You know, where to walk on. You know what I mean? But it's one of them things. It's one of them things. Anyway. I'll cut the morning because it sounds very depressing. We're going on Big Thunder Mountain and all of you guys are going to join us on the ride. Oh my god, here we go! Woo! Honestly, Big Thunder Mountain gets you every time, doesn't it? Yeah, every it time. Sense. Right. Because <sighs> we've only got 20 minutes left, we're now having to do the dreaded coming into the gift shop. I see a dreaded coming into the gift shop. You guys know I love a gift shop. <laughs> right, let's go. I was telling you about before, you might have seen this in yesterday's vlog. Well, not yesterday's, but last week's. It might be, I don't know if I, I don't know if I showed it. But honestly, it's this bag right here. I absolutely love it. But you know what, I'm gonna hold off because I've spent a bloody fortune on this trip. So I need to hold off, but if you see this bag, get it, because <laughs> it is lovely. If you like it, obviously. Look at this Christmas jumper, this is awesome. Oh, that's really nice. The only thing is though, I'm not really into like thick jumpers. Let me know in the comments, like do you, do you like stuff like this? Just a bit too much for me. Also seen this the other day now, this is lovely. But again, would I wear it? I don't know, would I wear this? Apart from coming to the parks, it is lovely though. I don't know. What's your thoughts on this as well? There's loads of nice stuff in here, honestly. And Ruby's decided to go for this. And this is for Nikki. Yeah. It is nice, that. It's for Nikki and Madison. Oh, so it's for the both. Because Madison loves Nightmare Before Christmas. I've never seen it. Is it good? Yeah, it's really good. It looks scary though. The man looks really scary. Oh, more pins. Sugar. Oh, I didn't realise there had pins in here. Oh no, oh. Oh, successful shop complete. So Ruby has bought her present, and then I've bought some more presents for Patreon members. Um, I'm basically, are we not finished? Oh, do you want to buy more? Yeah. All right, well let's go in if you want to buy more. Yeah. We just don't have much time, Ruby. <laughs> is someone cash, how much has your dad sent you cash wise? Are you, st are you still buying more? Yeah. Okay, well, I tell you what, I'll wait here. He's back with his now, she's finished shopping. <laughs> but um, no, what I was saying before is, um, obviously we don't know what's gonna happen with everything, do we? So obviously I'm trying to buy enough pins and enough gifts for Patreon members that it lasts, do you know what I mean? So I can, so it lasts. Um, Cause obviously I don't know when I'm next gonna get back out here. Oh my God, and just like that, I'm home. 
I'm literally home, guys. And if you're wondering, like, oh, you've ended that abruptly. <laughs> we were in the magic of Disney and you've just ended it abruptly. That's because our holiday ended abruptly from that moment and I'm going to tell you all about it right now. However though, you might notice there's like suitcases and that over there. The reason being is because I'm just editing this vlog now, finishing it and uploading it to YouTube and I'm actually going to Disneyland Paris today. I'm literally leaving in like the next couple of hours so I'm just getting everything sorted, everything in the case and then I'm heading to the airport and I'm flying on my own. <sighs> I can't wait to share the next set of vlogs we use, but I'm really nervous. <laughs> so anyway, pretty much after that scene, me and Ruby had less than 20 minutes to get from that part of the park all the way back to the the hotel within 20 minutes. So we basically had to dash, so the camera gear got put away, everything got put away. And then from there, we got picked up from Mo about quarter past six. So he was meant to be coming early, he didn't. He showed up half an hour late. And then I decided I was gonna start vlogging from the airport, but I was just in such a bad mood because everything was just wrong after wrong after wrong. So firstly, the taxi driver pretty much ripped us off um, without going into too much detail. Make sure you clarify the price with your taxi driver before you get in the car. Just make sure you clarify that, that's all I'm gonna say on that. Because we ended up paying 70 something euros to go there and 100 coming back because he added on all these additional charges at the end. So just make sure you clarify your, your price for your taxi driver, that's all I'm gonna say. And then when we got to the airport, the queues were out of this world and I flew through. But my uncle got spot checked at every single opportunity <laughs> that you would get spot checked at. So he got spot checked at the desk for all his um, testing, making sure all the kids were tested. He had to provide his NHS vaccination, vaccination certificates. But the problem is, is he couldn't get signal. He literally could not get signal on his phone. So thankfully, I think we put our hotspot on. I think that's what we did. I think we put the hotspot on and he managed to get signal. Um, and then I thought to myself, oh, well, once I get through security, I'll vlog again and then as we got through security and we sat down this poor lady came running up to us crying her eyes out because our flight was getting ready to take off and it actually ended up taking off and leaving us stranded in France and um, bless her she was like 19 20 years old and um, and yeah and basically it was all because of it was all because of the the testing it was all because she couldn't get access to our phone so honestly, it was just it was just one thing after another, and here I am now heading back to the airport, but on my own. Thankfully, I am meeting my friend out there. But oh my god, I've got all these anxieties. I've been editing the travel like travel home vlog, and I'm like, oh my god. I just want to quickly say a huge thank you to you guys for following along on this journey. Honestly, I've absolutely loved vlogging Disneyland Paris, and do you know. I'm very excited to return back to Florida, obviously, but I've just loved going to Disneyland Paris. I love the park. I think it's awesome. I loved spending it with my family. My family really enjoyed themselves, as much as it was a farce on with the testings and stuff. I really hope the vlogs have kind of helped with that as well, especially the first one with what you have to do. And, and I know things are changing all the time. Um, so, you know, when that vlog came out, the rules were a slight bit different to what they are now. However, I do hope they've helped. And honestly, I just loved spending the couple of days with them. Honestly, it was awesome. I wouldn't change anything for the world. It was a lot harder traveling, like after reflection, it was a lot harder traveling with five people, well, four and then and then them, and then myself obviously, which added to five. The reason being is because I'm not used to it. I'm used to just going to places on my own or with friends and stuff. So obviously it took a lot longer to get around, but it was just, honestly awesome since the family have been back all you want to do is return that's all he keeps saying to me they just want to go back and that's what disney does it, you come into the magic you you're warped into a different world for a few days and then it snaps you back straight to reality and then you get the disney blues hence the reason why i'm going back today because <laughs> i've got the disney blues However though, the trip that I'm going on today is a lot different to the trip um, that I went on last time and I'll explain all about that in next Thursday's vlog when you will see the first part of the next series of Disneyland Paris vlogs which will be a three part series. 
that's not a three, is it? <laughs> oh, it is a three. You've just got my little pinky flying up there. Also, I do have a Patreon. If you would like to join Patreon, the link is below. Patreon members will have access to early vlogs, you get podcasts, you get live streams before I travel, and also you get nice pins, such as these. How nice are these pins? If you're interested in Patreon, guys, the link is below. And lastly, if you've liked this video, make sure you smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. The numbers keep going every single day, and it's thanks to you guys why that is the case. And I can't thank you enough, so thank you so much for the continued support. And I will see you in next week's video when we're at the airport on my own, doing a flight on my own. Oh my god. <laughs> What am I doing? I will see you next week, guys. Wish me luck. Bye.